shop. So these are, I'll back up here a little bit and show you. This is a foraging area here where you come in the steps right there and then you come down that right there. Oh, we got a leg vise here. Some tooling up there. And this is that uh, that cylinder, that press thing you guys uh, loaned to me. Let's see, we got some dies there. We got a bunch of different dies for it back here. You can swap those out. They get right in there. They just slide off like that. So we call that the smusher. And if we turn this way. You'll see we've got three forges. You can see one, two, three angles, and then three angles on the other side. There's the other two angles there, one, two, and then the third is right there. We've got our swage block here. Here's our little press that we use for uh, well, various things, but uh, piercing the hammers and like that. Got a big gas furnace there to keep us warm. Here's the old sharpening wheel. That's a lot of fun. We got our little welding area here. A little welding table I got from my grandfather Jones right there. We got our TIG machine, our little MIG machine there. Little carts with all the supplies on them. There's a long handle that I use for real long blades. This, this forge right here is a forge we use for uh, Damascus bones, and you can see it's got a three quarter inch line going to it, and it's closed up on that side. It's got a rivet burner in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there's a ribbon burner in there right over there. Here's the back side of it where the air and the gas goes. We've got our air blower down there, the gas comes in under there with the valves to control. And then as you come over here, we have our big power hammer. Yeah, it's quite the deal. It, it does a lot of nice forging. And then here's our grinding area. That's Nick walking around back there. He's our machinist. We've got eight of these little grinders, belt grinders. And then we've got this bigger one here, just the two wheel. And then we've got two of these versatility grinders over here that are for the bigger grinding jobs little pedestal there with some wire wheels on it. We've got a nice rack with all of our uh, angle grinders on there and our die grinder. This is the original double grinder that I built on that adjustable stand there. And this right here is the new one that we got. And it is, uh, they both work real good. That one's got a variable speed down there. You can see there's on off and it's a variable speed on the dial there um, and our dust extraction there and then we've got two big dust collectors up here so that blows the clean air over to this side of the shop see it comes out there you can actually see the flapper moving we have that flapper on there so we know how much air is going through when to change the filters on there. Here's our lathe and our drill press, big layout table, and that's all storage for parts and leather and stuff. There's our, we just built this new glove storage unit. We're storing all our gloves in different sizes. So there's a look at the forging side. And then, well, there's new black toolboxes. We just got two of these new big toolboxes in, which are nice. That's my old toolbox there, and that's Greg's toolbox. And we got some of the stuff we sell over here. And our swords. There's our axe throwing area. We've got our fridge there for keeping our drinks and our meats and stuff. Just some area for lounging around over here where we have kind of the parties. And there we have all of our goods and whatnot. Register. And as a leather work Mike makes there. And um, there's all the uh, 
stuff in the case there. And then you come over here, and this is Michael. He's our leather guy. And this is his little corner that he has for his leather making. He's got a press here for uh, cutting out with dies. He's got a sewing machine there that still a work in progress. And then over here is our little our little jeweler's corner. And there, yes, that's Libby. And there's Sam. They're working on all kinds of stuff. And then our office is over here. Well, that's our bandsaw there. You probably saw that when we have a little manual uh, shear there. Then you have the office in through this door here where Lindsay does all the paperwork and, and we do stuff. So, anyways, that's the shop. Thought I'd send that over to you so you can kind of visualize what we're uh, what I'm talking about when you get home. There's the bathroom, of course. Very exciting. Oh, here's the uh, flowers and stuff that Sam makes that they make in their classes. There's some rings and stuff that she makes. Very pretty stuff. And the metal flowers. They're all very cool. All right. Well, we'll talk to you later.